Time response analysis. Time response of a system is the output of the system as a function of time. So far we have learned how to find the transfer function of a system. The transfer function of a system can be used to find the time response of a system. Consider this closed loop system with HFS as feedback gain and GFS as forward path gain. We can write the transfer function of this system as C of S divided by R of S is equal to T of S. Transfer function of the system is equal to G of S divided by 1 plus G of S into H of S. If you know this transfer function of the system, then we can find the time response of the system. To find the time response, let us rearrange this equation. C of S equal to R of S into T of S. So the output C of S equal to R of S into T of S. On taking inverse Laplace transform, L inverse of uh, C of S equal to C of uh, T is equal to L inverse of R of S into T of S. So we can find C of T is equal to L inverse of R of S into T of S. So if we know the value of R of S, that is Laplace transform of the input and the transfer function of the system T of S. Here the T of S value is G of S divided by 1 plus G of S into H of S. If we know these two values, we can find the inverse Laplace transform to find the time response uh, T of C of T. This equation gives the response of the system in time domain. In order to better understand the system, we apply standard set of test signals as input and we observe the output. So for R of S, we have standard set of uh, input signals, then we can observe the output. Similarly, based on the output of the system, we can categorize the system into uh, different categories. Here we call it as order of the system. First, let us see what are all the different uh, types of test signals available and then we will go for how to define the order of the system. So these are all the very frequently used test signals. First one is step signal, second ramp signal, parabolic signal and impulse signal. Let us see one by one. First uh, test si step signal. The waveform of the step signal will look like this. At time t is equal to 0, the amplitude reaches its maximum value a and it remains in a at still the time reaches infinity. Mathematically, we can write this uh, e equation as R of t is equal to a when t is greater than or equal to 0. 0 when t less than 0. So the value of uh, the input R of t remains a as long as the value of t is greater than or equal to 0. So if you find the Laplace transform of this equation that is L of R of T which is equal to R of S is equal to A divided by S. So the Laplace transform of this step signal is A divided by S. This will be useful to find the time response of the system. So this is step signal. If we want the unit step signal, we substitute uh, the magnitude A as 1. So we will be getting the Laplace transform as 1 by S for unit step signal. 
ramp signal the waveform of the ramp signal will look like this the value of uh, the amplitude r of t increases as time t increases when time t is equal to 1 the value of r of t will be a and when time t is equal to 2 the value of r of t will be 2a so mathematically we can uh, write this as r of t is equal to a into t when t greater than or equal to 0 r of t is equal to 0 when t less than 0 we can find the Laplace transform of this equation so L of R of T which is equal to R of S which is equal to A divided by S square so this will be again useful to find the time response of the system for ramp input signal parabolic signal the waveform of this parabolic signal will look like this As the time increases, the value of R of t increases. So at uh, time t is equal to 1, the value of R of t is half the time the A value. When t is equal to 2, the R of t value is uh, 2a. So when t increases, uh, R of t also increases. So mathematically we can write this as r of t is equal to a into t square divided by 2 when t greater than or equal to 0 0 when t less than 0 if you find the Laplace transform of r of t you will be getting r of s which is equal to a divided by s power 3 so this will be useful to find the time response of the system for parabolic input signal next let us see impulse signal the response of the impulse signal will look like this at time t is equal to 0 the value of r of t reaches infinity for all other values of t the r of t value will be 0 so mathematically we can uh, write this as r of t is equal to infinity when t is equal to 0 it is equal to 0 for all other values t not equal to 0 so if you find the Laplace transform of this r of t we will be getting r of s yes, which is equal to 1 so for impulse signal the Laplace transform is 1 so impulse signal is also represented by the symbol called delta of t so again this impulse response Laplace transform of the symbols response can be used to find the time response of the system next let us see order of the system how to define the order of the system Input-output relationship of a system can be related by using nth order differential equation like this. So this is the generic form of this nth order differential equation that relates the input output of the system. Here in this equation P of t is the output of the system and Q of t is the input to the system. Here the system is related by nth order differentiation of the output and mth order differentiation of the input. Here P of t is the output of the system and the input output is related by using nth order differentiation of the output and mth order differentiation of the input since the output uh, is having the 
nth order differentiation nth order differentiation we call this system as nth order system so by looking at the order of the differentiation of this output we can find the order of the system so here in this equation we have the system with uh, n the order so if you take the Laplace transform of this differential equation we will be getting the transfer function so this can be written as so the Laplace transform of this equation we will be getting like this T f s equal to P f s divided by Q f s which is equal to B naught into S power M plus B1 into S power M minus 1 up to Bm. In the denominator we have A0 into S power N, A1 into S power N minus 1 up to An. So by looking at the denominator polynomial we can find the order of the system. Here in the denominator we have S power N. So the system with this transfer function is having the order N. So to find out the order of the system we have to look at the denominator polynomial and find the highest power of n that gives the order of the system systems with uh, similar order give the similar kind of response so by looking at the order of the system we can almost predict the output of the system in this denominator polynomial if the value of n is equal to 0 then we call this system as zero order system the value of n is equal to 1, we call this as first order system. If the value of n is equal to 2, then we call it as second order system. So mostly we will be studying the response of this first order system and second order system. So in the denominator polynomial, we will be having s term or we will be having s power 2 s square term we can also rewrite this equation in a different way this transfer function equation can be written as this here we have Return this numerator polynomial as a product of uh, m terms z plus s plus z1 into s plus z2 plus s plus z3 into s plus zm. In the denominator we have written it as s plus p1 into s plus p2 into s plus p3 up to s plus pn. Suppose if the numerator polynomial is having the power m, then we will be having m terms in the numerator. Here in the denominator we have the power n, so we have n terms in the denominator. So uh, here in this equation we define this z1, z2, z3 as uh, zeros of this system and p1, p2, p3 as uh, poles of the system. This zeros and poles plays a significant roles in the uh, analysis of the control system because when the value of s is equal to minus z1 the whole term becomes zero similarly when the value of s is equal to minus z2 the whole transfer function becomes zero so all this z1 z2 z3 we call it as uh, zeros similarly when the value of s equal to minus p1 the whole term becomes infinity similarly for uh, s equal to p2, p3 and pn. For all these values of p, the value of this transfer function become infinity. So at zeros, the transfer function becomes zeros and at poles, the transfer function becomes infinity. So at zeros and poles, the transfer function reaches the extreme values. So this zeros and poles plays an important role in the study of control system.